Lizzie, thank you so much for your time. Long time listener, to say the least. But it's great to see you trying something new here with hosting the show for Access TV. How long was it from getting pitched or auditioning to actually being able to announce this? Um, well, first of all, Darren, thank you so much for taking the time for me. Um, I really appreciate um, talking to a friendly voice and, uh, <laughs> and thanks for taking the time. Um, as far as the timeline goes, um, you know, time is elastic anymore. And so it's, it's actually really, it's, it's hard to like pinpoint because it feels like it actually happened, um, you know, fast as far as that aspect is. And um, I'd been doing a couple different things just during you know, lockdown and this pandemic and just kind of reaching out in different areas and really just as a personal challenge for myself, um, it's just to see what I could do. You know, I've, I've kind of always been that way. Um, I mean, for heaven's sake, Hailstorm was, my band was born that way too. Where It's like, yeah. well, let's just dive headfirst into the shark tank and we'll figure it out, you know? Um, so I've been doing a lot of that lately, but a lot of those different projects ended up, uh, you know, obviously garnering the attention of the Access TV folks. And, um, and I've, I've actually known a lot of the people that work at Access TV uh, for a couple of years now as far as just, you know, in various, uh, you know, awards shows and little things that they've, they've ended up hosting before. Um, so we've kind of always been ships that pass in the night but have not actually done <laughs> something together. So, uh, so it's been, uh, it, it was just so neat to like get the, uh, basically get the email and say like, hey, we want to consider you to be a host for uh, for the next season of, of A Year in Music, which is an amazing show. And it's like literally like going back in a time machine and actually like just dissecting, you know, every year and everything that happened with it, you know, politically and natural disaster and scandal. And there's a little Hollywood gossip in there, but then ha obviously having the full vein just be how music shaped it. Um, so I, I was so super excited about it. And so I, I did, you know, kind of an audition over Zoom and, um, you know, literally it was just like waiting for like over the weekend. It was like a long weekend. So I'm just like, oh man, yeah. I, maybe did I pass the audition? Like, did I do good? And uh, then, you know, I, I got the email saying I got, got to, I made the cut or whatever it was. And, and, uh, and we started scheduling uh, time to shoot. So um, it was, they did everything so amazingly. Um, the, the crew came out to Nashville where, where I, uh, where, where I reside now. And, and, uh, we did it on location. There was, it was a very minimal crew. Um, everybody was super respectful, safety guidelines galore. You know, I want to even say just like, just for safety's sake, you know, everybody just went overkill, which is awesome. <laughs> you know, super respectful. Yes. Um, but it was so, it was so much fun because, you know, I literally, I got to, again, you know, this is exciting because it's something that I've never done before. Um, and it's also was this kind of almost journey of self-discovery in a way, because at this point in time, I know, I know who I am right. when I walk onto a stage to perform as a musician, but I, I had no idea when I opened up the door, <laughs> you know, to, to film the first episode, um, you know, this maiden voyage, um, who I was going to be, you know, like, oh, who am I going to be once the, once the camera turns on and we're recording and I'm, you know, and I'm, you know, reading my lines, like, who am I going to be? So um, it's been amazing to kind of see all of these different influences that maybe I have absorbed throughout the years of growing up, you know, as in, I can see, you know, in these episodes, my influence of the VH1 host that I used to admire and the, and the MTV host and even Access Hollywood and Extra and like all of those, <laughs> those crazy shows from the 90s that, um, you know, I remember in some subconscious way absorbing. So I was able and, and thanks, thankfully to the, you know, the Access TV people, um, they really let me put my stamp on all of these years and all of these, you know, and in, in this show and let me be pretty much just unapologetically myself. And so I, um, again, it was such a neat experience to just kind of hop on that train and see, and see what happens. You're such a pro that you answered a few of my questions that I had coming right there. <laughs> and before I go back to complimenting you, Access TV is my favorite network on television because it checks all the boxes. You get the classic rock and music. You get the documentaries and the concerts. You get some MMA and wrestling. You get some great old 
movies or classic movies rather, do you have a favorite show on Access TV besides A Year in Music? Um, honestly, that that was I, I love I love uh, Sammy's show as well because I love him so much. Um, but uh, but yeah, like besides Sammy and then A Year in Music, they have so many. What I love about it is that it's able to be this amazing variety because even as a musician who who you know I I my entire life is music and it's and that's the common thread. But you can get burnt out on just watching just that, you know, or just watching the documentary. Just like, so I love that this is just kind of this in-house hub for all of the things that I could possibly be interested in. I've actually learned a lot about wrestling through watching this channel because um, I've only had some meager experience with, you know, the, the NXT stuff, you yeah. know, that, that, uh, that I've done in the past. And so when I was like, well, where do I even start? <laughs> like, oh, sweet. <laughs> this is here too. So it's really just such a neat, um, obviously, like I said, there's that common thread, that core, you know, or that heart, so to speak, that they obviously, it's, it's everything, all roads lead to music, but, um, but you can just see all the little branches, you know, off of that, off of that tree. And so it's, it's, uh, it's, it's really, I mean, regardless of whether you, you're a musician or you're into rock or you're into pop or you're into wrestling or just into some good old fashioned, like comedic entertaining, because believe me, um, you know, no, nobody can really watch it without, <laughs> without having a little chuckle here and there, depending on whose personality is, is coming through at the moment. Um, there's really just something for everybody. So um, I, this is another reason why I was really excited to be a part of the Access TV family, because I felt like it wasn't just me being put into one box. It was just the whole thing. Right. That's a really good point right there, that it's that diversity that you sometimes crave. You don't want to just be thought of as the musician, the singer, that kind of thing. And you were such a natural. I promise there was more compliments coming, but you're such a natural <laughs> in front of the camera. It doesn't sound like you're just reading cue cards or TPT or whatever you want to call it. It sounds like you actually know this kind of stuff. I grew up watching a lot of those bad time life compilation commercials and you see Roger Daltrey oh, yeah. who, I, who I love Roger Daltrey but you know he's not the best reader per se uh, how much <laughs> of what you're saying is word for word versus them giving you bullet points and you riffing a little bit uh, I think that for the most for uh, honestly I want to say about 80 to maybe 90 percent of it was them literally giving me the scripts and guidelines. And, but even when I was reading, you know, and obviously we were using a teleprompter and all of those things and um, was a whole different experience. And I, like, one of those things in my mind, I, I'd only used a teleprompter once before when I was, um, uh, when I was uh, hosting or presenting at the Grammys um, a couple years ago. And, and, uh, and I'm like, man, what, what if I'm terrible at this? I've literally committed full hook, line, and singer. What if I'm and what I realized is that absolutely, they were just so nice. And they're like, hey, this is like what we got. And you can read throughout, you can expand whatever you want. And so a lot of it was honestly me kind of going off script and being like, well, this is actually <laughs> what was going on in my life. And, um, and it was fairly like, it was fairly natural. And it was something that um, and and th thank you so much for the compliment. Um, but it really was a, just as a surprise to me <laughs> than anybody else. I'm like, oh no, I'm actually like I could be good at this. Um, so that was so that was exciting for me. And and again, like just such a huge thanks to to the Access TV people for letting me do that. And like I said, letting me be, you know, unapologetic in my story and inserting my own self into all of these years. Um, because regardless of what anybody knows about Hailstorm, you know, yeah, we made our debut um, on Atlantic Records in 2009, but, um, and technically signed in 2005, but we've been a band since 97. Mm -hmm. So it was really neat to just kind of, you know, like I said, hop on that, <laughs> hop inside of that time machine and just go back and be like, oh yeah, this happened this year. And holy crap. And so you just got to learn a lot about it too. I can imagine. And you said the magic name before, Sammy Hagar, one of the great shows on Access TV. <laughs> can you give any hints or spoilers? Will we be seeing any Van Halen stuff within the series? Oh, yes, absolutely. Um, especially considering, and it's, it's funny because, so 
as far as myself as as a as a music fan and growing up listening to music, um, I've been talking a lot about this. Whereas I I realized I was a child of of the '90s, you know. So as a teenager and as as I'm coming into my own, right. it's the '90s. But I was obsessed with '80s hard rock and metal. <laughs> so so there was so many. I mean, I literally I, there is specifically you know um, one or two times during these episodes where I end up referencing the fact that like my parents' song was Panama by Van Halen, if that gives you any inkling of wow. the kind of <laughs> childhood that I grew up with. Um, so, so I remember from an early age, you know, in fact, I think my mom actually had, she ended up sending me some pictures of me with headphones on. She's like, I'm pretty sure this was, you know, it's, it's either, you know, women and children first or it's 1980, you know, it's, it was one of those that we were listening, that they were forcing me to listen to. Um, but that ended up being such, you know, from the time that I was a very young kid, you know, uh, this was, you know, this was my first introduction to music was those times. And so um, also, if you can imagine uh, me being, I, I, I ended up referencing some things too, or out of my own life, whereas when I was 11, you know, I ended up taking um, an Alice Cooper and Dio CD to uh, a sleepover. Yes. Um, trying to story. Trying to, trying to convince, you know, and so like there were a lot, a lot of little things that I was able to pick out of all of these years, even if it was something like 1989, which obviously I wasn't, I was born in 83. So it, it, I wasn't like extremely self-aware in 89, but all of those things, there are some things that I definitely remember trickling in. And so, like I said, it was me actually being able to go back in time and actually learn about those years, um, just even besides the music. So it's just, a, it was such a cool journey for me. I can imagine. Well, being mindful of your time here, the next time I interview you, I'm going to talk about Van Halen and 80s rock. But for now, <laughs> Lizzie, uh, any last words for the kids? Oh, for, for the kids, uh, <laughs> this one's for the children. Um, honestly, I am so excited to, uh, to be making my TV host debut on Access TV uh, with A Year in Music. And, you know, again, thank you so much to, to the Access TV family for having me. But also, specifically, thank you to everybody that has not only um, accepted me as, you know, a musician and, or, or whatever, a rock star or whatever you want to call me. Um, but accepting me as all of the things me. And I, I will promise you, you know, during this, uh, this journey <laughs> with, with a year of music, you're going to be seeing all sorts of different sides that maybe you didn't actually even know about me. So, um, I'm just excited for everyone to watch it and, and, uh, make sure you tune in. <laughs> Looking forward. Just keep up all that greatness and uh, congrats on this great hosting debut there. Oh, thank you, Darren. You're awesome. And, and I can't wait to see you after all of this, uh, <laughs> after the, you know, the gates open again. <laughs> Outro cast.